So recently I relapsed on my nofap journey day 63 and although I reached my nofap goal of surpassing day 56 which was my record for quite some time now, this relapse was the worst one that I had in all of my nofap journey. You might think to yourself how is this the worst relapse and how do you compare relapses? Well I think it's the worst one because this time I was sure that I finally understood everything about nofap and there was no way I was going to relapse but actually this was why I relapsed. I got too confident in myself. With nofap you must be aware of urges and chances to relapse at any moment and when you get overconfident like me, you forget nofap and it kind of stays in the back of your mind and as soon as the urge hits, you're not ready for it and that's it, you relapse. I talked about becoming aware and dealing with urges in my last nofap video so if you want to learn more you can check it out but in this video we are talking about 4 things to do after a relapse. Let's imagine that you relapsed recently and after getting mad at yourself you search for some nofap motivation and advice so you find this video. Or maybe it's not an imaginary situation and you actually came across my video in these circumstances. Well the very first thing you should do now is to not let yourself get caught in the chaser effect. What is it? It's when you get really big urges right after you relapse and in the following week as you struggle to gain back the momentum of your nofap journey. If you have relapsed one time, just stop at that. It's bad enough to relapse but it's much worse to get the mentality that oh I already relapsed so it doesn't matter if I do it a couple of more times, I'll just start tomorrow. That is the worst thing you can do after a relapse. When I relapse, of course I get mad at myself for making this mistake but if I fall into the chaser effect, this one relapse can manifest itself into feeling like crap and being unproductive for days. I find that with just one relapse it can be easy to come back and start reaping the benefits of nofap again but if you keep relapsing you will just numb yourself with dopamine and fall into a state of misery and suffering. So when the relapse is still fresh it's an opportunity to become extra focused and aware towards your urges in order to discipline yourself and not become a slave to them again. You probably know who Jordan Pearson is and you've probably heard his famous saying clean your room. Essentially what it means is to get your life in order. When you relapse you find yourself in chaos so how do you get back from it? Well you try to get your life in order again by doing small steps like cleaning your room. Physically cleaning your surroundings can help you gain momentum and get back from a relapse as when your environment is clean, your mind becomes clearer. It gives you a fresh start and a feeling that you've left your old self who relapsed back in that chaos and your new self established in this order. Now it's going to take some time until you can get back on track and gain that momentum. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that if you clean your room and not get caught in the chaser effect you will just instantly get back on your journey and feel the way you felt when you were on a high streak. With relapses there is no quick fix and it's going to take a couple of days to set your mind straight again and slowly start to experience the benefits once more. Although the mentioned exercises are a great way to start over in your nofap journey, a relapse is still a relapse and you're going to feel a bit sad for some time because of your failed attempt towards your goal and it's okay to feel this way. Don't go searching for some instant motivation right away or distract yourself with video games, movies, YouTube, whatever. Maybe just try to sit there and think about this relapse. Think about why you relapse and what is your original goal with nofap. Realize that it is human to make mistakes and we are all going to fail at some point but don't cheer yourself up with this thought, just feel bad for a bit because it's okay you failed and you shouldn't try to feel another way because this will give you a contrast of winning and losing. Nobody likes to lose and so by just being mad at yourself for a bit you are going to try harder next time to win. But also just remember that you didn't set back your whole progress of nofap. When you are doing this negative visualization the most important thing here is that you learn from it and you learn from the state of being a bit mad at yourself or failing. If you just take this dark moment and use it as a way to justify to PMO a few more times as the chaser effect kicks in, you are doing it wrong. You haven't set back your whole progress as you still made progress even if you relapsed. The nofap journey is called a journey because it's not some destination to arrive at, that's the point. It's about the cycle of going further and further and then maybe relapsing in order to learn and go again. That's the cycle of life pretty much. You are improving and improving and then you hit a rut and you try to figure out how to get out of it and then you get out of it and you are stronger because you learn how to get out uh, of the rut and go again to further improve and hoping that it's going to last longer this time. 
Failure at some point is inevitable and necessary as a way to make contrast and shine more light on winning. So just be patient and with some struggle, hopefully can gain that momentum and go towards the light of winning. This leads me to my last piece of advice on how to recover from a relapse. Recalibrate your mind. So we went over these layers of a relapse. You PMO, you think about how to best use this relapse as a way to learn from your mistake and you try to gain momentum to get back to reaping benefits from NoFap. Well, let's talk about deeper on how to gain this momentum. It's time to stop being sorry for yourself and just accept that you relapsed. There is nothing you can do about it now and the only thing you can do is to move forward. So start tracking your progress again, clear your mind and do the most important thing in your NoFap journey remember your true reason for doing nofap i mentioned this in pretty much all of my nofap videos but it's okay because it's the most important thing and i want you guys to know how necessary this is to your journey without a reason you will not get on high streaks or more preferably get healed whilst on nofap you will just keep looking at it as a self-improvement challenge without going in deeper and truly realizing how much nofap can contribute to your lifestyle your relapses will be more frequent and you might give up on nofap entirely one day and fall into your old habits don't let this happen and right now as you're watching this video think about why you are doing nofap you can even write it as a comment down below on this video and share it with the rest of us or you can just write it down for yourself and keep it as a reminder to look at when you are having an urge. I'm really sorry that I have to keep repeating myself about this in every video and you guys are probably tired of it, but I just want to let everybody know exactly what is the most important thing to do. So hopefully this video was informative and useful for you. And if it was, please leave a like and subscribe for more weekly self-improvement content. As always, you can follow me on Instagram. And if you want, you can support this channel both on Patreon and PayPal. And all the links to my social media pages and my support pages are going to be in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay on your journey.